joining us today. It is Mr. Times. Are you excited? I am excited. Mr. Times is also called the multiplication sign that helps us to multiply our numbers. So we have Mr. Times right here with us today. In today's lesson, we'll be showing how to multiply big numbers. Are you ready? Okay, let us get right into it. Here is a problem and we need to find a solution. On the screen, we have 11 times 5. What do we do? How do we solve this? Remember I said multiplication can also be regarded as repeated addition. So, do I need to add 11 to itself 5 times? That is 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11. Well, I can do that, but then it's going to take the whole day. Don't you think so? So instead, let us try arranging these numbers vertically and then multiplying through like this. Remember, because it's a two digit, we need to put our place values. So we have tens and units and 11 arranged under that. Now we have five. Five is a unit number, so we put it under the ones or units place. Don't forget your time sign. Put that there also. Now what is next? When you arrange numbers like this, you make sure you multiply the unit and unit together before multiplying the unit and the tens. So we go unit times unit, unit times tens. That's how the order goes. Can you say that after me? When you want to multiply two digits by a one digit number, we go unit times unit, unit times tens. That's how the order goes. Are you ready? Now let us apply that same reading to this problem. Remember, unit times unit, unit times tens. That's how the order goes. So unit times unit, we say five times one, and that gives us five. And then we move to unit times tens. So we say five times one again, and that gives us five. 11 times five equals 55. Nice one. Now let us solve this one together. We have 40 times three. Remember, we can add 40 to itself three times. That will be 40 plus 40 plus 40. But that would take so much time. So let us arrange these numbers according to your place values and multiply starting with the units. If you do that correctly, it should look like this. Your tens and units, 40 arranged under and the units number below. Now it's time to multiply. Remember the reading? Unit times unit, unit times tens. That's how the order goes. Now that we know the reading, let us apply that to this problem, okay? So we have 40 multiplied by 3. Are you ready to multiply with me? I'm sure you are. Now it's time. Remember, unit times unit, so we say 3 times 0. Any number multiplied by 0 gives us 0. So 3 times 0 will give us 0. So unit times unit, the next would be unit times tens, 3 times 4, and that's going to give us 12. We're going to write our 12 down. 40 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 120. Great! Can you try this one next on your own? I have here on the screen 24 times 2. How do you want to do this? Okay, you can pause this video and work it out. All right, let us solve this together. 24 times 2. Remember, we can arrange these numbers and if we do that correctly, we are going to have 24 times 2. If you have solved this using our reading, unit times unit, unit times tens, you're going to have 
2 times 4, 8. 2 times 2, 4. So 24 times 2 would give you 48. That's right. Today, we have learned how to multiply a two-digit number by a one-digit number without regrouping. Remember, when you have a two-digit number and a one-digit number, always arrange the numbers and place your values correctly. Then multiply in this order. Do you remember the order? Nice one. Unit times unit, unit times tens. If you do this correctly, you're always going to arrive at the right answer. Keep practicing, friends. Bye-bye.